Hi, I'm Tim Schubert with Mortensen Construction. I'm an integrated construction manager, and today we're going to open up our toolbox and show you how we're using the model coordination. Model coordination allows us to make sure that we stay on budget, that we stay on schedule, and that we're delivering for our customers a design that works for them. All right, my top seven benefits of using the model coordination. Number seven, uh, web-based. If you can navigate the internet, you can navigate this platform. Easy sign on, access to the data is simple, and there's no desktop software. Number six, simple UI. The best thing about the user interface is it's easy to navigate, it's very intuitive, and it's easy to teach our team members how to move around the platform. Number five, fast loading times. Uh, we're all working at home now in a different environment, working virtual. Uh, and being able to access these models, especially for team members that don't have high powered computers to run some of the software, uh, being able to open up these models and access that information is really important. Number four, dashboards. It's all about dashboards these days. It's ability to create that dashboard, automating the clashes for us, really gives the project team an understanding of what we're having the most conflicts in. Number three, single source of truth. When data transfers from one silo to the next, there's a loss of information. Having the coordination process on a unified platform really allows all of our models to be in one singular place and to automate our processes. It really gives the project team the sense of where we are in the process of the schedule of getting towards our sign off. Number two, automation of the clash detection process. And one of the things that we spend an extraordinary amount of time on is looking at and grouping clashes. Now this process is automated. We can spend more time with the design team going through some of the design issues that we have to eliminating not value added tasks like grouping clashes. And number one, connecting design teams to our project teams. Allowing our trade partners really to have clarity uh, into the design intent is really our goal. Inviting more people into the process really helps by making sure that we can fabricate, that we can plan, and that we can bring out MEP systems to our projects and install them accordingly. Because without this process, fabrication and sequencing and planning really doesn't occur properly. I'm Tim Schubert from Mortensen Construction, and that's how we're using model coordination.